a principal vocalist in the show. I'll be singing Clarity and I'm also a featured backing vocalist in the disco medley. The song I've had the most fun with, well, they've both been really challenging for me. I mean, Clarity, I wouldn't normally sing something like that at all. It's When I first got it, I was like, hmm. <laughs> but, I mean, working with everyone, it's been amazing. They've, they've told me basically, I can do it, I'm capable of it, and they've just given me that self-confidence that I need. Whereas in the disco medley, there's a lot of dancing involved. Dancing is definitely not my strong point, so that's been a challenge as well. We are the backing vocalists for the 2014 Victorian State School Spectacular. We back up the soloists mainly, but also the choir, and it's a really fun job. <laughs> Hi, I'm Janine Maunder, and I look after the backing vocals for the school spec. And my my job, I guess, is a freelance musician. I sing full time. Um, I get to teach a little bit, and being part of the spec is pretty fabulous because I love harmonies and uh, singing with groups, getting groups going together, so backing vocals are kind of my love. Um, and I've been doing this for three years now. Chong Lim invited me to come on board, so yeah, it's been a real privilege to be part of it and to watch these amazing, talented kids do their thing. Vegas tripping in the bathroom, bloodstains, ball gowns, trash in the hotel room, we don't care. My favourite song in the spec this year is probably Dreamer. Um, because there's such a vast range of people within that song. It's a and really nice blend of yeah. song of voices. Yeah, and the range is just incredible. Cool. Last year, um, with the Victorian College of the Arts Secondary School, um, we were told um, we had an ensemble and we were playing a Nigel Westlake piece called Tall Tales But True, and we were told that we would be performing in the State School Spectacular, and I had no idea what that was, but we turned up at High Sense Arena, and um, it was extremely exciting, and it was huge, and all the kids looked like they were just having a ball, so I thought, how do I do this? And I auditioned um, the next year, and here I am. Um, in the State School Spectacular this year, I'm going to be in um, dream sequences. So because the idea of the whole show is dreams, um, I'm going to be acting out some dream sequences. And it won't exactly be a story, but it'll be um, some minimalistic ideas of dreams and the idea of a dream. And I'll also be um, playing with the orchestra and the taiko drummers um, with an original composition by Chung Lim on the violin, so that's very exciting. And I'm going to be finishing the show with Red Rain um, in a duet. Um, my favourite song that we're singing at the moment is Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. I mean, it's a lot of hard work because it's just the backing vocals for that bit. Um, and we all have to find our notes, And um, but it's one of the best songs, I think. Yeah. Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. I think one of the biggest challenges for BVs is the sheer amount of repertoire that we have to learn. There's a lot of memory work, so we're one of, I think we're probably the only section really that has to memorise the 20 odd songs of the show. Um, everyone else gets to read charts in the orchestra, we don't. Um, and principal cast, someone might learn four or five songs and a few backing vocals, but that's it. So our load is pretty big. Um, there's a big responsibility on the backing vocal shoulders. Uh, last year I was a backing vocalist in The Spectacular and it just made me really, like I saw the principals up on the stage and I just wanted to be there with them and I, I just, I tried really hard in the auditions this year and when I found out I was so happy and it's been a great experience so far and I'm really looking forward to performing at Hisense. And it goes like this. Jagged, I got the moves. So last year when I came into the audition process, I was really unsure of myself as a performer. Like I had a good enough voice, but 
I was very introverted and kind of shaky and I didn't really perform. And so working with everyone through the audition and the callback process and then last year as a backing vocalist and watching the principals and all of the other amazing professionals and seeing how they do things and and I realised that it's all about, you know, being confident in yourself and that's what everyone kept telling me, you know, you can do it, you just have to just have to be bigger and be confident in yourself and so I really concentrated on that for the auditions this year. I knew that I could I could do it if I just gave a little bit more and so I did and now I'm here and it's been amazing. Um, and the Spectaculars taught me a lot about perseverance and that's really come through in like my interactions with people and in my studies. It's just I used to give up very easily and I found that since being involved in the spectacular I've tried a lot harder and a lot of things because I've found all these new things that I can do and it's exciting and I just want to keep trying and finding more things that I can do and just having fun. Um, I'm Eleanor Parry and I'm from Snarted which is three and a half hours away from Melbourne. It's sort of in between Ballarat, Bendy and Horsham. Um, it's I'm very great, thankful that my parents let me come to Melbourne and travel three and a half hours back and forward each Saturday, which is a huge commitment, but it's well worth it because these guys are amazing and you learn so much down here um, at State School Spec, you learn how to harmonise, how to sing thirds above and below and how to sing notes out of thin air. It's really amazing. That we're fine with things, we didn't come from love. Teeth, grey goose tripping in the bathroom, blood stains, ball gowns, trash in the hotel room. We don't care. Um, for the audition process, we had to go through three rounds of callbacks after our first one. We didn't hear from them until after the summer holidays, I think it was. And like it was a daunting wait, just waiting for the first email, and then you're like, oh my god, I got a callback. And then, yeah, and then there was another round, and after that, you finally get the email. Correct. Uh, principal vocalist. Yeah, I thought it was um, interesting coming back. Um, I, even though I'd done it before, I, I thought like I'd speak, spoken to Trevor the year before and been like, yeah, I'd love to come back next year if you have me. And he was like, yeah, of course, of course. But going through the audition process, you get to watch a lot of other people perform. And I was like, I'm not getting in this year. There's no way. I thought I like I just watched the, all the other talent, and I was like, no. Nah. Like there is some really really amazing people out there. Going into spec for the first time, just a rehearsal process just every week. You've got to always turn it on, always performance mode, um, no slacking off. But it, it was quite different for me because being I've only been involved in high school productions and with then you work with a lot of younger you know, year levels and they're a little bit more lenient to the behaviour of younger kids. But whereas we're, we're treated like professionals throughout every rehearsal that they said, no, you've got to turn it on performance mode. What happens when you come to the show and you know you slack off and it's not a not as good as it can be. It's but it's good. Everyone responds to it, responds to direction really, really well and are excited and want to make it the best show that they can be. So rehearsals are no fluffing around. It's all just you know get down to business and they're working as hard as you can. So more of a, like you find yourself with more of a responsibility in such a key role in the spec you have to model the kind of behaviour and the discipline and like the professionalism and whatnot that like in what's the word? In it's all involved in the spec and the younger kids to see that and see it done well is really important for them in future shows that they might want to do. Yeah.